Hello friends, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss a topic on HVAC. I am sure you are liking the various videos which you have made so far on HVAC. I request you to subscribe my channel and spread it to many of your contacts, your groups and your friends. Thank you very much. The important topic today is of duct leakage testing. How do we conduct a duct leakage testing and what are the parameters is the topic of today's video. In front of you, the ducting work which is there, the people who are doing the ducting for HVAC system, once we do ducting, we need to ensure the ducts are leak free. And for that, there is a sample test which are done either 10% or 20% depending on your contract specifications. The duct leak testing is carried out. Let us look at one by one. Duct leak testing pressurize a closed section of duct for a known pressure. So you have to find out what is the pressure for which you are going to test the ducting. There is always a low, medium and high, high pressure class for ducting. Based on your applications, you need to decide what is the pressure class. The amount of leakage at a specified pressure is calculated by measuring the amount of air that is measured and it is known into a closed duct system. SMACNA is one of the important standard which defines the duct leakage rates. Class 24, class 12 or class 6. The numbers of 24, 12 and 6, they define that at 1 inch pressure gauge of test pressure, there can be leakage of 24, 12 or 6 CFM per 100 square feet of duct surface. Hope it is clear. SMACNA defines the duct leakage class as class 24, class 12 and class 6. These 24, 12, 6 are the CFM. These numbers of 24, 12 and 6 are the leakage CFMs which at 1 inch of water gauge of test pressure in 100 square feet of duct surface. Hope it is clear. Right? Maximum leakage is calculated by following formula. The F is the maximum leakage. That is the leakage of CFM per 100 square feet. Please remember this, right? CL is the leakage class, right? For 100 square feet, what is the leakage class you are going to do? And P is the pressure in uh, H2O. That is the water. These are some of the ceiling classes, as I said, C, B, A. And depending upon the pressure, you know, 500 Pascal, 750 Pascal, 1000 Pascal, the, the leakage classes and the respective leakage rate of CFM is given in this table, both for rectangular ducting as well as for round ducting. So these numbers we can see over here, 24, 12, 6. For round, it is 12, 6 and 3, right? These are also given in liter per second. So this is one of the guidelines which we should take when we go for leakage test. These are some of the other classes, SMACNA as well as EN class, right? And uh, these are the class A, class B, class C for UE class, MACNA, as I said, 24, 12, 6, right? This is the pressure of uh, inch uh, actually in water gauge. This is a maximum leakage of CFM per 100 square feet. Let us look at how we can tabulate these numbers when you do the duct leak, duct leak test. So we always have to have project number name. You may have your contractor name and then the duct ID. What are the sections of duct which are the, on the drawing? You can map it. You can highlight it. Give some ID to the duct sections and those duct sections will be mentioned over here. These IDs will be mentioned here of that particular duct section which you are going to test. What is the square feet area? What is the static pressure? What is the differential pressure? What is the leakage factor here again? The class the CFM per 100 square feet. What is the permittable leakage in that? What is the actual duct leakage? Now this, you can fill it up in the beginning. This, you will fill it up when you get the actual duct leakage. Then you get total area CFM. And from there, you can find out the percentage duct leakage. If it is within 3%, you can pass the duct. If it is more, then you will take actions either for more sealing or any other actions which you feel suitable at that point of time. Hope this is very clear. Duct leak testing report. Please enroll into my course that is on good installation practices in HVC system. The links are in the description box. Take full use of this course 
it's a wonderful course at a very very minimum investment thank you very much for your patient listening please subscribe my channel follow me on youtube facebook linkedin and ajazkazi.com if you like the video please spread it to your friends and and groups thank you